Good afternoon once again. This is episode 709 and topic today is not planning your future, big mistake. That's a very abbreviated, it might make the title longer, longer, we'll see, but you get the point, at least you will in a moment. Before I jump into my formal, oh sorry, well, let me jump into my talk, let me do my formal introduction. Get the right way around. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, if you haven't seen the title above the broadcast, um, I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is what inspires my talks and really informs my work. And these talks I've been doing now for over two years called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, all tied together. And today is episode number 709. A lot of these are out there. Um, they're running loose over Facebook and, and YouTube. I'll get to that at the back end, by the way. So the topic today is not planning for your future, big mistake. And I did talk yesterday about your past, which I highly recommend you watch, because that was a rather rich, deep, and what's we're looking for? Inspirational, maybe? Certainly triggering for some people. Talk I gave yesterday about looking into the past. So I thought, well, let's do one for the future. Just to cover both ends, the spectrum, so to speak. So today's talk is about, um, it's going to be relationship centric, but it can apply to any area of your life because this is a mindset shift for some people, a paradigm shift as some people call it. For some people it's something they don't even think about, so this might be a wake up call as well. So let's jump in, shall we? For many people, and I'm using the general term many people versus you or <laughs> myself because I don't want to presume anything but for many people um, just living in today living for today and living in this very moment is as best they can do and it's all they do in fact some people as I didn't talk about this yesterday quite this way I spend most of their time looking in the rearview mirror at what happened yesterday and last week and last year living their life in a place of regret I don't think I'm going to go there today but I'll make up with it another time but what they're not doing is looking towards the future and I don't necessarily mean like going, okay, you've got a college, you get a four-year degree and do all that sort of stuff for the future. What I mean is, do, they ha do you have an intention or a plan in any area of your life about what you want to have manifest coming forward from the future? This is about relationship, as I said, but it also apply to career, job, money, financials, and financial situation, travel and vacation, um, friendships and social engagements. It could be anything, really. But the question is, do you live your life in a place of momentum and intention and direction where you want to go somewhere? Or do you just let it happen how it shows up? Now I've done both, so I know there's pluses and minuses on both of those. I'm not saying one's right, one's wrong. However, if you don't have an intention or a focus towards where you want to go, it's really, it's really like, um, well, it's like not doing anything. It's like not putting any investment into what happens. It's kind of like the idea is that if you want to create your, if you want to have a great life ahead of you, and I'm not going to talk about goal setting stuff, and I'm talking about that so much in this in this case, but it's about you've got to have skin in the game, so to speak, meaning that you've got to have some intentional energy pointing where you want to go. This little piece could change everything. I'm not talking because uh, there's goal sheets and there's vision boards, and I have a program that's set up with eight modules to build the vision. That's another piece, but just having the momentum and having the um, intention of moving forward with some clarity and direction is a huge step for some people. So if you don't have that, as I said in the title, it's a big mistake, meaning that you have no predictability of where you're going to go. Now, life does have a way of happening the way it happens. So for some people, you set up your intentions, they don't work out because life takes you over here instead of where you want to go. That is part of the journey because eventually what's going to happen is you realize that what you're setting up as an intention may not be clear enough. That's really ties into yesterday's broadcast, I'm realizing. So, yeah. So here's the thing. Knowing where you want to go, knowing what you're looking towards doing, and I'm talking about this not as, okay, I'm going to go take three steps tomorrow towards my goal by going and making three phone calls. That's, again, that's the detail stuff that is really more once you've got your vision clear. What I'm speaking about is the, is the higher elevation, the, the bigger viewpoint of where you want to go, meaning that what would you like to have your? What would you like your your? Ex okay, sorry, I'm trying to say three things at once. It won't come out that way. Let me try this way. <laughs> Do you know what the feeling you want to have in your life is going to be in five years? For example, 
Meaning that do you want to feel happy and, su and successful and accomplished and joyful or adventurous and playful, fulfilled in all levels, whatever those things are. Most people only have that much in their awareness. They're just looking at, can I survive till tomorrow? My recommendation, my suggestion, my intention, first of all, starting off with a bigger vision that is really like a feeling you drop in the future. It's like seeding your future plans and visions by saying, in three years time, I want to be living my joyful life with all my debts paid off and something else. Something as, as that can be said in like one or two sentences even. That's a first step. That's laying the groundwork. That's a very um, easy thing to do. Now, it has nothing to do with steps to take. It has nothing to do with concrete visions and, and dreams and intentions that are like solidified. This is purely a feeling level. And again, I'm playing with feeling level here because the feeling level is what drives everything. If you know anything about law of attraction, you know that feeling is a pivotal piece. I'm not going to teach that here. You can study that online by going to abrahamhicks.com or going and looking on YouTube and there's all stuff about that. But I'm speaking to the point of view that it works when you set up a feeling vibration because that's what it is. Feelings, by the way, a little sidebar, feelings like emotions in the sense of this. Well, okay, I'm going to break this apart in three places. Emotions are usually what we feel in our human body that are reactive to things. Feelings are choices we make of where we want to go that are more of a holistic viewpoint. So they're not quite the same thing. But both of them have a frequency. Both feelings and emotions, which I believe, again, I say different, have a frequency of vibration. What you're doing is creating vibratory moments, vibratory feelings, vibratory experiences in the future of where you want to go. And by setting up saying that you want to, you, you plan to have this experience at this point in time, it starts things in motion. Now, as I mentioned, I do have an online course um, that's relationship centric for women to create the relationship they want. But the components in there are transferable to anything. So I'm sorry if I want to tell you all of what they are, because that would be exposing myself. <laughs> the program is called Attract the Man You Want, and it is an eight module program in those. Uh, yeah, OK, I'll give you some key, some of the key components of the eight modules. There you go. I'll put a link in the comments for the course if you want to check it out. If you're a single woman and want to attract an amazing relationship, this will help you with that. And as I said, all the components are applicable and um, usable in every area and whatever focus you're putting into. So giving you the broad strokes, the overview. I talked about having a vision and intention that you will have a clarity of direction where you want to go. That's powerful right there. Secondly, and perhaps more um, importantly, is once you have that vision, what do you do to build on the vision? Because the vision is great. It gives you a direction and it's a clarity. But there's got to be some concrete steps that you take to solidify where you want to go. So in what I have in my, in my online course, there is clarity of the vision and then creating concrete steps, which includes things that are viscerally experiential. Because that's the concrete I'm talking about. I'm not saying you've got to build a building. But I'm talking you've got to create some, some feelings that are resonant and, and embedded in your beingness. That's concrete feelings that will, will give you direction, clarity, focus, and everything else. There's also things you do to practice those feelings. So you can actually start a, um, creating a habit of embed, em, embodying and feeling how it feels to be there. Again, what's your feeling you want to have when you're out in the vision in the future? Start practicing that, practicing that now. Because that starts to create a concrete experience that you'll know and resonate with when you get there. Okay, I'm just watching also. I want to teach from the course. I'll give you some things. Part of what I do in the, in the course is a, is basically what you call um, future embodiment. I'll call it that for, for the sake of argument. Having a clarity where you want to go, creating a vision of what you want to have happen, and then moving yourself down the timeline into your future and imagine what it would be like to be there having that experience. That gives you what I call a 5D experience. You know, 3D is three-dimensional, 4D is putting a time frame on it, and I think 5D is putting it into the future. That's my way of calling it that. So you're putting it into the future where you want to go. So it creates what it does. Not only does it create a sense of what it feels like when you get there, but it also starts to create a magnetic pull that pulls you towards it. This is powerful technology, and it really does help you get where you want to go. And again, that's why I created this program called Attract the Man You Want. That's for the ladies. But those steps you can take and apply to everything in your life it can be really powerful keys to unlock your future, your dreams, and your vision. And as I said before, if you don't know where you're going, it's a bad plan. Because the challenge is when you don't know where you're going, you're stuck in this 
um, one day at a time thing. And I'm speaking to myself here just to be transparent. I've been sitting on the fence about a couple of things I want to put into motion. I have not put my work into this. So I need to, I'm just telling you out loud, as I'm adding myself, I need to take some of those steps I've put in the program and apply it to my own life for my business and the vision I have for my work because I haven't put enough pieces in place yet. So that's my homework. So I'm doing it myself. So if you want to join me and do the program yourself, I recommend you check it out. Um, part of that is that the, what I want, want, part of what my vision is about is to really help people remember who they really are, to own their power and their power and their self. Um, what's I'm looking for? Own their own space and their self being beingness, beingness. That will work. Which is the other course that I've, I've created, which is just coming out. It's a group program which I'm launching very shortly. I've got people into it now, called Coming Home to Yourself. So I'll put a link into the comments for that so you can check that out as well. But I'm really getting clear is that, that the work I'm doing is getting more big and I really haven't put a vision in place. And my work now as I'm outing myself in this broadcast is to say that I'm putting myself on the line here too by taking what I teach and apply it to what I'm working on too. Okay. That was, in, that was needed. <laughs> So I invite you to do the same thing yourself. I'll give you, give you a few clues. If you want to get further into this, I can tell you how to do that. Um, I do. I will put a link in the comments also. So that's three things I put in the comments now, um, which will be a discovery session with me so we can talk more if you want to get some more clarity. Um, but have a vision, have an intention, have a clarity, direction where you want to go in the future. Give it some fluidity so it can move because it may not be as rigid as you think it is. And if you hold a rigid claim to the future, it might get shattered. So being more flexible about where you want to go, that's a big piece, by the way is having an intention that can be movable. So when you go in the direction of where you want to go, you can see results. I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. That was really what I want to tell you about and teach you about. Again, I put three links in the comments, attract the man you want, coming home to yourself, discover a session with me. So those might, one of those might fit you. Um, I hope it's been of, of help to you. This is my daily broadcast. I teach something every single day, invite, inspect. Sometimes I provoke people. <laughs> Today was a teaching. I hope that was been a help to you. If you want to check out my other broadcasts, you can find them on my replays on my business page on Facebook and on my YouTube channel. So I'll let you know where to find everything. Join me live on my personal page on Facebook at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, which is barryselby.author, where please like that page. And also you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel, which is Barry Selby. And the playlist on there is Messages from the Masculine. That is where you can find my replays, all 700 plus. This is where I do my talks every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, so tomorrow will be the same time. Um, questions, comments, please put in below if you want to respond and have any thoughts about this. And again, I put links in the comments for those three things I, I suggested. I think that's about it. Yeah. There's some homework for you, something to work on, so focus on yourself. So I hope it's been of use to you. You can use this in your life because you can. This is usable technology. Um, and I'd love to hear back from you. If you do apply this, see what happens and let me know how it goes. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, do this every day. Join me again at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Again, the links will be in the comments. And I think that's about it. I appreciate you being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourself.